Hey guys, how are you doing? I uh, I thought of taking advantage of this uh, lost time in traffic and uh, share an amazing thought that came to me today while I was uh, learning I saw an amazing Midrash uh, Midrash is one of our ancient um, handwrites been written at least two uh, to three thousand years ago something like two thousand years ago they've been written and there is a Midrash Midrash that calls Yalkut Shimoni that is telling us from the book of Ishayahu the prophet Isaiah the prophet that he told us long long time ago um, what actually will happen to us in our days in those days that we are struggling with our faith in those days so Rav Yitzchak, one of the righteous people he said in that Midrash that in the year that Mashiach the real Mashiach will reveal himself in that year to redeem the world and to bring forgiveness to the wide world and happiness to everyone. So in that year, there's gonna be a big, big, big mess in the world. And many of, of the people will suffer and won't know, won't understand what to do with themselves. And he described it in, in, in words that you can see only in the news. He's saying that the, all the nations in those days will fight with each other and that the king of uh, Persian, that it's Iran, will fight with the Arab king. And the Arab king is the king of Saudi Arabia. And they will argue between themselves. And the king of Saudi Arabia will go and consult and discuss this issue with the king of Edom. And we know that Edom is the nation that today lives in the United States. And we all know exactly what's going on in the world, the relationship between the kings and the president Trump of the United States. And then the Midrash is telling us that the king of Iran, Iran will start a big, big war in the world and everyone will be terrified and lost and won't know what to do with themselves. And also the Israeli nation, the holy nation of the Jewish people will be so scared and terrified and will ask, where should we go? What should we do? We lose their faith as well with the rest of the people until the Creator, Hashem, Kadosh Baruch Hu, will come to them and will tell them, my children, why are you so scared? Everything that I did, I did it only for you. And you don't need to be scared because it's the time of your redemption. So, The sorrow and the pain and the difficulties that we're experiencing while trying to figure out how to find answers to our deepest questions to to deal with our with our fears and confusions, lack of faith, lack of confidence. Those are the things that really should bring us to believe in Hashem and and not to give up because of the fear and because of the stress because everything that goes on in the world is happening for a reason and the reason is to bring us deep into the place of that recognition that understanding that the Creator is doing everything for us He's doing every single thing for us to open for us the gates of redemption, the gates of salvation.
when a person is finding himself like that, that he's lost and confused and doesn't have no other choice, he doesn't have a solution for his life. So then from that place, he can only realize one thing, that the Creator is with him and that the Creator wants him to trust and to put all of his trust only on him. From the pain and from the fear and from the confusions, we must throw ourselves deeper and deeper toward our inner faith, to look deep into the roots of our souls, to find the real essence of our life, the real nature of our faith, to find the real foundations of faith that we, we experience within. You had your simple faith when you were a child. You need to go back and to find those inner channels of communication and conversation with the Creator. Now, when you want to believe in the Creator, you must believe in yourself. And to believe in yourself, it means that you need to believe in the greatness and in the power of that inner conversation of you with the Almighty. That is the deepest and also most simple explanation of faith in yourself. To believe in yourself, it's to believe that you have a way to understand and to recognize the Creator and to understand His message and to follow His guiding and to listen to His voice and to sense and to feel it from within. I'm blessing you to find inner happiness your solid faith and inner satisfaction, not to be scared from all kinds of news and bad news, and just to strengthen yourselves all together as one, as one person with one heart in the Almighty, and to put all of our trust in Him, and to have a conversation with Him like we're talking to our best friend, and to open our hearts and to ask for complete redemption and that Mashiach will reveal himself right now with mercy, with kindness and gonna uncover the endless, unconditional love of the Creator to His children. Amen. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.